Hello and congratulations on getting access to this video course on how to optimize your videos before making your YouTube videos live. So this is video number one, which is the introduction to YouTube search engine optimization. So I want to first start out by saying the goal is to focus on doing the right amount of keyword research and video file automation before actually uploading any of it to YouTube. So essentially this is all about what most people forget about doing before making their YouTube video live. Because if you think about it, most people think about, okay, what do I do after I upload this video? They don't really think about what they have to do before making it live. So this is not about what you can do afterwards as that is a totally different focus, but rather before. So besides simple optimization, you really need to know that YouTube ranks the videos that people watch the longest. Meaning, let's say for example, that we have a 10 minute video. YouTube looks at that video. They look yes at the likes, dislikes, and comments, but they also look at, okay, do people actually watch most of this video and based on let's say a thousand views how many of those a thousand views actually watched either 50 percent or a hundred percent or how many minutes total a thousand times how many minutes was watched so they really look at how long people watch the videos as a whole meaning the more viewers and the longer that they watch that will get you ranked up further and further up. So instead of focusing on, you know, spammy tactics, tons of backlinks and all of that, our goal here is to really focus on the user experience. So what I want to do now is give you a quick overview of what's inside this video course. This is of course, video number one. Video number two is going to be about competitive research or in other words, researching your competitors to kind of get a better idea of why YouTube is ranking those videos. Video number three, we'll talk about highly searched keyword terms and how you can find those for your product or service or whatever you're trying to promote. Video number four, we'll talk about your title and your description. Video number five, we'll talk about video file optimization. So we're going to optimize the actual file because each file has essentially information in it. And of course, video number six, will talk about why your thumbnail is important and how to make it professional and good looking. And video number seven, we'll talk about video length and why that matters. We talked briefly about it just now, but I'm going to dive in deeper in that video. And of course, last but not least, I'm going to give you a secret tip on how to outrank your competitors in video number eight. So before we get started, I want to talk about what you need to have in hand. You're definitely going to need your product or service and an idea of the niche that you're targeting. You also need to have a video that is ready to be uploaded. And with that said, let's move on to video number two. Hello and welcome back. This is video number two. So let's talk about competitive research. You see, the best way to understand how you can rank better is to know what is already ranking in your niche or your market. So what we want to do here is we want to analyze the videos that are on the top. And I want you to specifically look at what titles, what descriptions are they using and what thumbnails are they using that are eye catching. And what is the user experience like when you click through those videos? So let's go ahead and do some competitive research. So for the sake of making sure that we find YouTube videos that actually relate to promoting a product, what I want to do now is just to pick a product out of the blue and let's take a look at YouTube. So one product that I've been using for 
a while now, which has been really, really awesome, is called the Instant Pot. It's basically a pressure cooker that cooks food at a really fast rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop on over to YouTube.com and we're going to type in Instant Pot and see what we get. So I'm not going to click enter just yet because I'm interested in getting an idea of what kind of potential keywords that we could rank on or what potential videos that we can create. And we'll talk more about this in the next video. But for now, let's just do some basic keyword brainstorming and then, of course, do some competitive research. So Instant Pot, we got Instant Pot Recipes, we got Instant Pot Ribs, Instant Pot Roast. So let's just click here and see what we get. Now we can see how to use Instant Pot has 316,000 views right here. Instant Pot Chicken, top six easiest things to cook in your Instant Pot. Perfect for beginners. All right. So let's just take a look at the top three. So let's go ahead and open those up. And let's analyze them. So the first one is this one here. And let's pause the video. We'll skip the ad. All right. Okay, so how to use the Instant Pot, Instant Pot 101 for beginners. So if we think about the type of audience that the Instant Pot attracts, it, it, it attracts somebody who has a busy life, who may be a beginner at cooking and just wants a quick and easy meal done fast. So we can see that. So one thing that I like to do is I like to copy the titles to notepad just kind of get an idea of what we're dealing with so that's the title looks like she's promoting an Amazon affiliate link we can see that here Amazon dot two we've got instant pot hacks instant pot yogurt and all that so what she's doing it's very funny but she may not realize she's doing this but what she's using is a method called siloing and she's basically telling YouTube, hey, not only do I have this video on Instant Pot, I've got Instant Pot hacks, yogurt, recipes, and other recipes. So let's just copy that in here. So that's video number one. So we're going to rank it from video one, video two, and video three. Let's scroll down a bit. We've got 373 comments. I will say when it comes to YouTube, they're looking for engagement. So comments is good. Likes are good. Even dislikes are good as well. Even though dislikes are bad from a human standpoint, it tells YouTube that there is engagement. All right. So sometimes we're going to be able to view. We can't do it here, but sometimes you'll actually be able to view more data. But for now, you can't hear. Now, we can actually dig deeper if we want to. So let's just take a look at Natural Brittany's YouTube channel. Because when you're doing a competitive research on YouTube, it's not just that particular video. It's actually the, the whole YouTube channel as a whole, the authority that that channel holds. So she has 116,000 subscribers. Click on the videos. She has a good amount of videos that talk about anything looks like from cooking, from budgeting, from grocery, a lot of very similar videos. So let's scroll down. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the second highest ranking video. So if we go back over to here, and this is the Instant Pot Chicken Cook With Me Meal Planning, Meal Prepping, Sunday setup. So let's go here, take a look. Okay, let's see here. 
So it's a 20 minute video, all right? And it has 658 likes, 5,000 views. If we take a look at this video here, this has 320,000 views and 7,000 likes. Now, notice how it says 13 minutes here and notice how it says 20 minutes here. We'll go back to this later on, all right? So we'll talk more about the, why a certain amount of time of your video is important, why the timing is important. And why is it that this lady has only 5,000 views, whereas the other lady has 300,000, and this lady is ranked right below that lady, all right? So why is that important? And why does that correlate to the time? So we'll talk more about that later on. But for now, let's just do competitive research. We're not trying to figure things out right now and go from there. So if we take a look at the description, it says, cook with me as I try a new recipe with Instant Pot. So the description contains the keyword. Sunday setup. Looks like she's got some Amazon links. And if we think about Instant Pot, who could it be targeting, all right? So this lady calls out people who are trying to prep on Sunday. So if we can get an idea of who it's targeting, it's targeting mothers, it's targeting people who are busy, who maybe only have time on Sundays to set things up. And chicken is a common thing, so maybe she's getting a lot of clicks. We don't know exactly, but we know that the headline and the description work together and getting clicks. All right, back over here, this is the third one. So let's take a look at this one. So this one is eight minutes, but it has a lot more views than those other two videos, but it's shorter. It's shorter, but it has longer amount of views and it's third. It's got 11,000 likes and 633 dislikes. If we scroll down, we can see that it has more comments than the first one. So why is it that the first one is number one and this one is the third one and it has more views and more comments? Well, we don't know exactly why, but I have a hunch as to why that is, which we'll talk more about ranking and what Google and YouTube is looking for later down the road. So that's that. Let's just copy that title. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and we'll copy and paste that information to the notepad. Okay, so I went ahead and copy and paste the information. So this is video one, this is video two, and this is video three down below. So let me make this bigger. So we have this information. So as we're kind of analyzing the competitor, we wanna save this for later, but can you kind of see a similarity here? So this is calling out the target audience. This is calling out the people who are busy essentially. And top six ways, top X ways, top certain number ways is always a good title. So perfect for beginners. So if you can imagine, we already see that this title has beginners. This one's calling out perfect for beginners. And this one essentially is calling out people who are busy. So it's a target audience. So that's key. So having this in hand gives you a better idea on what potential titles and descriptions that you can have. Now you can do some deeper dive competitive research using specific tools. And one specific tool is called Social Blade. So that's socialblade.com, as you can see here. And I like to use this to kind of get a better idea of the YouTube channel as a whole. Because what you're trying to figure out is, did this person rank because their channel as a whole has a lot of traffic? Or did this person rank simply because of the titles and the description? So there's many factors that come involved, but let's take a look at Naturally Brittany. So let's go ahead and copy this. And you basically want to come here and type in the username of the YouTube channel. So we'll go ahead and click this here. Okay, so we can see here that this is naturally Brittany, 116,000 subscribers. 
she's got 19 million video views. So that kind of gives us an idea of how easy it is to break through. Is it easy? Is it going to be take a little bit work or what? So let's just go ahead and open her up and let's do the same thing with the other videos. So this one is marriage and motherhood. We got that here. So she has 7 million video views. So it's about half of what we saw earlier. And this one is called Sisters, Six Sisters Stuff. And this one has about 9 million video views. So right off the bat, we can see that if we were to rank on the keyword instant pot, it's going to take a lot to break through. But the way we can break through is by using essentially subcategories of that keyword. So instant pot recipes or instant pot chicken recipe, stuff like that. So we can see that each one of these has about 100 to 200,000 subscribers. So you're going to have to be competing against that. Now, obviously, if you have a good size YouTube channel, that will usually mean that you can break through fairly easily. But if you're just starting out, then breaking through on that keyword is going to be a little bit more difficult. So the next question is, what keywords should you use? And we'll discuss that in the next video.